But if you think spiritual about God, um, he, okay, just say you, you gave me the word and I started reading uh, the Bible stuff. God gave me the increase on my, not my knowledge of him. Not, not, not quite. The tenacity 
Lord Jesus, to use Mary as an example of a woman that we're preaching. She was just a messenger. She happened to be there at that time to deliver a message to the apostle. If he had any intentions on Mary being the first woman preacher, how come she don't find her preaching nowhere else? That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't the Bible be contradictory if they... If it was okay for a woman to be a preacher when he had in the right to say that women are subject to me. Yeah, and, and to be in silent. I suffer not a woman to teach nor usurp authority over the man. How hard can that be to understand? And then they say that it was because uh, Paul had a problem with women. Well, if you read that text, what Paul did, he didn't stop. He went all the way back to Genesis. So he went through three different dispensations of time. Mm -hmm. He went all the way back to the patriarchal dispensation and said that it, it was the womb. Listen, 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 
to what, what Paul said. Who's the end of the law? Christ. Christ. Christ is the end of the law of righteousness. Go ahead. For righteousness to everyone who believes. What he has said. That's it. You can't add to that or take away from it. That's it. And, and, and just so happened, he didn't, he didn't say anything about a denomination. He didn't say anything about another religious organization. Everybody in Acts chapter 2, when the church was established, everybody, those 3,000 souls that said yes to Jesus, all of them were members of the same church. And if you, if, if you had the ability to go back to those uh, 3,000 folks and just by happenstance and look, look at him. What church were you all, are you all a member of? They're going to say, Christ is church. We're a member of his church. That's it. No, you, no choices in the matter. No option. In the matter. We all are members of Christ's church because he established one. Amen. 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 Man came along. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Go to Acts chapter 2. Acts chapter 1. Oh, Lord, you got to get this started. Acts chapter 20. Look at verse number 20. Uh, 20. 20. 20. Acts chapter 20, verse 28. Boy, I tell you, boy. Mm -hmm. Let me know when somebody got it. Amen. Listen, listen to Paul. Paul, he's talking to the elders of Ephesus, their Melita. He says, What? Take heed. Therefore, to yourselves. Uh huh. To all the flock. Uh huh. Hope that which the Holy Ghost have made you overseer. Uh huh. To feed the church of God. To feed the what? The church of God. Feed the church of God. Which he purchased with his own blood. Which he purchased with his own blood. Amen. Now that's not that's not rocket scientist. <laughs> we know that God the Father is a spirit. Mm -hmm. Amen. We know that the Holy Spirit is a spirit. Mm -hmm. But the word came in flesh right. and blood. Didn't it? It, 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 oh, it yes. Flesh and blood. He died on the cross. The word Jesus. Feed the church of God which he, Jesus, purchased with his own blood. Now, now watch this. Why would Paul say church of God? Why did he say church of Jesus? Jesus Christ or church of Christ? In this text, he was recognizing Jesus for who he is. He's a part of the Godhead. Amen. Amen. And he was specific uh, uh, as to whom he was talking about. Uh, in the, you got the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. He was specific as to who he was, he, he, he was referencing there when he said, which he purchased with his own blood. We know this Christ. Amen. So you know what he's saying there? That's feed the church of Christ, which he purchased with his own blood. Amen. 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 Now go ahead and read that. Go ahead and read that. Oh, I know this. Listen to Paul. Listen to Paul. Paul said, for I know this. Watch this now. When I die, shall grievous wounds, not the four-legged ones, the two-legged ones. Amen. Grievous wolves. They're going to be just like a, a vicious wolves when I die. Go ahead. They're going to creep in right among you. There's one church. All of you all are on the same page. They're going to creep in among you. 
Watch this. Go ahead. It's not sparing the flock. Look, they're gonna just they, they're gonna be like wolves out in the out in the pasture out there. They're gonna see them sheep out there and go eat your tail up and get as many as they can get. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Also yourself. Now watch this here. Not only from without, but you got some folk that's in the church mm -hmm. that's gonna get lifted up mm -hmm. and think that they're all this in a bag of potato chips. And they gon' go on their own. Go ahead. Shall men arise? Uh huh. Speak perverse things. Speaking, twisting. Yes, Lord. Yeah, yeah. Speaking things contrary to what I've taught. Go ahead. To draw away disciples. To do what? To draw away. To pull away Christians. Yes. Mm -hmm. From the one church. Oh, yes. Paul made that prophecy. Uh -huh. That's why you have what we see today in the religious arena. That's that, and Paul prophesied that. He said before he, but when he died, it's gonna get stopped. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and read. Therefore, watch, watch again, and remember that the space of three years I cease not to dwell, but warn everyone night and day with tears. You know why Paul said that? Right. Paul was stoned. He was beat. He, he went through all kinds of persecution for the church's sake. And just to think of what's going to happen to the church when he died, mm -hmm. it brought tears to his eyes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a shame what we see today in religion. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a shame. Amen. Even in the church, just like Paul said, they're going to lift it. Men within the church, they're going lift, to be lifted up and going to draw away disciples after them. Just like Paul said. Amen. Oh, well, I'm going to be obedient and I'm going to stop right there. Y'all mind if you pick this up? Yes, sir. I'm talking about all right.
forward tonight to extend the same invitation tonight, maybe here in your mother church, but you desire prayer. We had a good day for you on this evening. Uh, thank Brother Paul and Brother Jonathan for that. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Brother Williams, for the beautiful selection. Amen. Amen. It's like it was on Sunday. <laughs> so, but uh, before you two extend the invitation, uh, first we understand that uh, God loved us so much, and as we've been talking right now, uh, until he said the greatest thing that kept the offer was Jesus to die. Jesus died and shed his precious blood for us that we might have eternal life according to John 6, 16. Matthew 16, 18, and he promised that he would build only one church. He said, upon the rock, I will build my church in the age of hell, or Hades, should not prevail against him. Be a part of it. Christ 1, 18 said, and he is the head of the body of the church. Christ is the head of the church. We looked at Acts 20, 28, 29. Now he purchased the church with his own blood. So you need to be a part of that church. We get to Acts chapter 2 on the day of Pentecost. Peter preached the first gospel sermon and 3,000 souls they became a part of what is known today, the church of Christ. That's why the Bible says in Romans 16, 16, salute one another. But the only thing is the church of Christ salutes you. Be a part of this church. How do you become way about hearing the gospel? The apostle Paul says in Romans 10, 17, so that faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. One must believe what he heard. Hebrews 6 says, but without faith, it is impossible to please them. For he that comes to God must believe, and that he is a reward of them that do what he comes. And Luke 13 and 3, he said, I tell you, neighbor, but except you repent, he shall all life wise perish. In other words, you're going to lose your soul. You confess, not to sin, but you confess that Jesus Christ is the Son of the living God. You must be with the last to go down into the war. Mark 16, 16 say, He that believeth in his baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be down. If you're here tonight and maybe you are familiar with the church of Christ and maybe you desire prayer, we're here to do that for you tonight as we stand on our feet to sing the song of encouragement. And now we celebrate.
so that you all would kind of, you know, think about some questions that you might, that you, you might be able to generate, you know, for us to, 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 to deal with. I have okay. more. <coughs> um, but I don't have any intentions on doing it for a long period of time. Mm -hmm. So if you all, uh, and it first come, first, you know, first. Mm -hmm. so, Scripture that you've given us. Amen. No ways, you say. We bless those who are out of the this evening. 